What's going on guys? Got another uh, unboxing video here. Pretty good sized box. Um, I got this package from uh, the guy I usually get my distortion stuff from. This guy stumbled upon a huge lot of distortions, old, uh, new old stock mass, so I can usually get some stuff from him for a pretty good price. So picked up a few things here to add to my distortions collection. Actually really excited about this box. Let's check out and see what's inside. packing peanuts and there's several masks in here. Pull this one up top. All right, this is the one that I'm most excited about. This is the one I really wanted for my collection for a while. So I was really glad to finally pick one up. And this is still tagged. So to find one tagged is really a uh, really cool. Alright, so this is the Hellhound 2, actually. Just a few more. A few more bags of stuff in this guy real quick. He's a little bit out of shape. Not gonna get him perfect right now, but just so he'll hold himself up for this video. If you guys aren't familiar with these distortions masks, distortions unlimited. Um, they still do some masks, but they're more into props and animatronics and stuff. But they used to make a lot of masks, and some were mass produced, others not. But this is just so cool. This is the Hellhound 2. They made an original Hellhound, and then they made this one. This thing's in great shape. I never thought I'd own one of these. The hair, it's got that weird uh, old school distortions hair. You can kind of fluff it up if you'd like, but I'll just leave it matted. It doesn't bother me all that much. There's the hair in the back. It's got that classic old school distortions hair. And I have several uh, Fangoria magazines from like the early 90s and uh, late 80s that have this mask in there. I always remember being a kid looking through the back of those magazines and just drooling over the masks. I always wanted all the cool distortions masks and this is one that I really wanted. Uh, you know, never thought I'd actually have one, but yeah, so Hellhound 2, very cool. Still tagged, still has the distortions unlimited tag on it. Very, very cool. Um, this one, let's see, I think it says 1993, I think, not sure exactly what year this was made, but sometime in the early 90s, it's actually a little bigger than I thought it was, like I said, it still needs to be stuffed out all the way, but yeah, Hellhound 2, awesome, awesome, cool distortions mask, still tagged, definitely the, my favorite of this, uh, of everything in this box. Yeah, there's that. Then there's this mask. This is called, I believe, Stitches. It's another 90s distortions mask. This one was supposed to be tagged and there's no tag on it, so I'm kind of curious of what to have happened to that. I, I have another copy of this one though, and it is tagged, so I'm not too worried about it. But I figured uh, he was selling it so cheap, I figured I'd pick up another one. Another one of these. Yeah, Stitches, cool 90s mask. This one might even be from the late 80s, actually. Not exactly sure. Next, these I've wanted for a while to go with another mask that I have. Not the Hellhound, but another wolf mask from Distortions. This is a set of new, old but old new, uh, Distortions Unlimited Werewolf Hands. I've seen he's sold a few sets of these and I always missed out on them, so glad to actually uh, 
snag a pair. They're casting a decent, casting a decent thickness. You see, decent thick latex casting. They have that uh, classic distortions uh, fur on it. I could probably squeeze my hand in here, but I'm not going to. I, I have big hands, so. But yeah, very cool. I will put these with uh, another Distortions Wolf mask that I have. I've actually wanted a set of these for a while. 90s Distortions uh, Werewolf hands. Then, we got this guy. I do already have a copy of this guy also. But I figured I'd grab another one just because it was selling so cheap. I think this one's called Flat Top, I think. Maybe not. Might be wrong on that one. This is a really thick casted mask. This one's... You guys can see that. This one's a very thick, thick casted. Yeah, so I already have one other one of these, but I figured I'd pick another one. This guy being smashed by a dumbbell. Then, this is very cool. Oh, wait, what? You know, I didn't order this mask. So, I mean, when he got those, um, when he found that lot of old distortions masks, he also found some other stuff, and he's been sending me free masks. When I've been ordering several masks, he sent me a free one. So this must be another freebie he threw me. And it's very weird. It's an old, uh, it's like an old gorilla mask. It says made in Hong Kong. Uh, it's made out of vinyl. See, it's like shiny. Made out of vinyl. Very cool, though. Consider I didn't ask for this. He just gave it to me for free. The hair is glued on in big chunks. You can see it's coming off. I'll have to re-glue it. But, uh, yeah, cool free mask. The weird, ugly, um, vintage ape mask thing. It's really weird, really ugly, but I really like it. So I'm actually glad he threw it in. So I appreciate that. Very nice of him. Definitely find a spot for that guy. But back to what I'm supposed to have. Okay, here's my last item. This is made by B Something Studios. Very cool. It's um, you know, it's kind of out of shape from laying down, and it's starting to crack. If you squeeze it, I'm not going to squeeze it too much. But this is a shrunken head prop. It's not a mask. It's a, just a prop. See, the eyes are stitched shut. The lips are stitched shut. You see it's kind of flat on the mouth from laying down and the neck, it's got neck bones and a trachea and everything. Pretty detailed. Pretty detailed and realistic. But uh, yeah, very cool. You don't see many of these so I figured I had to, had to snatch it up. Cool old uh, Be Something Studios shrunken head. Yeah, so be something studio shrunken head. Yep, that's everything. The uh, set of vintage distortions werewolf hands. Glad to have those. Of course, my favorite, my Hellhound 2, still tagged. Definitely an amazing mask. This is just a super score if you're a distortions collector. You like the old stuff. Again, I, I remember seeing this guy in Fangoria magazine as a kid and always wanting one. Like I said, I gotta get him stuffed back into shape a little bit, but then get him up on a shelf. And the weird, the weird monkey mask, the bonus item that he does. It's nice of him to do stuff like that. That guy. Damn lights. And this. Stitches. So yeah, just really cool old uh, distortion stuff from the 90s. Early 90s, late 80s, just... I love the nostalgia of it. I love those old masks. Um, they're really they're getting harder to find, so if you can find them still tagged or in good condition, you know it's always good to snatch them up. Um, thanks to this seller for hooking me up. Again, he threw in a free mask. Uh, he, I got great deals on this stuff. Like I got this stuff really cheap. So 
you know, if you can uh, get it through somebody who's not a collector, that's awesome. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Later.